Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Noise, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Last time, we did a greed mode. Uh, I don't remember who we were, but we did a greed mode. This was like almost a week ago. Uh, and uh, we got a lot of coins into the machine, um, so it was really good. But today, we are going to do a hard mode run, and... Isaac needs to, uh, Isaac needs to be quick. Uh, do I feel quick today? Uh, let's try... You know, Zazel needs both up and down. Let's go with Zazel today. Uh, and we'll kind of decide if we're going to go up or down later. You know, let's go up. Because that'll be more fun. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be doing a uh, hard mode run, try and get some more completion marks. And... Uh, we're getting to the point where we're about to unlock uh, the last character in green mode, which is the Keeper. Uh, but more importantly, we're going to be able to start using uh, the Lost a little bit more effectively uh, once, probably after the next greed episode that we are successful at. Uh, so, should be fun. Um, we've only been doing this forever. Uh, yeah, we're going to go up. We have keys. Uh, we've only been playing Binding of Isaac since, like, this is one of my longest running series. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of insane, to be honest. Uh, but I'm not complaining. Uh, we need to go fast at all? No. But we could kill Satan. Uh, Mega Satan, if we so uh, acquire that. Alright, so we're getting a lot of money. We're not really getting anything else. Uh, we got those keys, but we don't have any bombs. We don't really like a bomb. It's another key. Alright, so... This isn't too bad. Uh, Azazel runs are usually pretty straightforward. Um, the biggest thing is you have to watch your health. Um, because of stuff like that. You have to be close to the enemies. But you don't want to be too close, because, I mean, you get hit. But... Uh, let's go in here. We'll get two chests. Hopefully we get something. Nope. Alright, let's teleport out. And... Uh-oh. Um... We really need to kill these... Oh, God. This is bad. Okay, not that bad. But we did get a uh, bomb, which is nice, and crack the sky, I guess. We'll go with that for now. Um, get some more soul hearts. And yeah, there's not really much left on this floor for us. Unless, you know what, let's go ahead and go into the shop and see what it has. We can buy a bomb. Uh, I'll put the coin in there. We'll put the bomb here, blow up this stuff, and get our key back, and another soul heart. So I think that was worth it. Alright, so let's continue on, and Ragman. That was easy. Crack the Sky actually was useful. And we have a little bit more range. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell with the Zazel, but it does actually affect his range. Um, the problem is he has such low range to begin with. It's not really... Uh, not really obvious. So, we have two black hearts. Uh, until we start taking damage, we don't really have to worry. Alright, we have four keys. Let's go in here. Because, yeah. It's a Satanic Bible, and I should not have used the, uh... Shouldn't I have used the battery when I did? Should have waited. Oh, well. Uh, the Satanic Bible is by far much better. Uh, it's probably one of the best items we can get right now. Um, just because... Ooh, lucky rock. So anytime we destroy a rock now, we'll get some coins. So even more reason to try to find some bombs. Uh, bombs and tinted rocks are going to be our friends for money. But it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, here is the shop and the item room. Um, spider bite, so slow effects with our uh, brimstone beam and let's go this way 
And Super Envy. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit easier with Azazel than other characters. But it doesn't really matter when we get hit. So, one more. Cool. He's going to blow up some rocks, and we're going to get a bunch of points. And honestly, I think... Because uh, I saw a Tinted Rock back uh, a while ago, but it doesn't matter. Not really anything in there that we want, so let's just donate our money. We'll get our key back. And let's continue on. So uh, I was hoping for some bombs in there, but nope. Alright, let's blow that up. These guys are not fun. The champions also are really dangerous because they're champions. They'll do a, an entire heart of damage rather than just a half heart. I think this is a meat guy. Nope, I thought that was a meat guy. Alright, so we'll get another black heart. There's a tinted rock back there. Ow. And all we're getting is keys. So that's not a bad thing, per se, but I would really like a couple of bombs. And a nickel. Alright, well, let's just go on to Little Horn. And... He should not be that bad. Uh, his... His holes don't actually affect us. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going for it. All stats up and then rearrange. So our shot speed is down, but that's not that bad. Uh, we got a little bit more damage. I don't really want that item. So we might get some angel rooms. If we get some bombs, then we can make something of this. Uh, so let's just continue on and see what the next floor has. So flooded caves. We have nothing that's worth it. Um, ultimately didn't get anything out of that. So we'll just do that. Get some more health. Um, kill these guys. Cool. And we get another battery. So I'm going to go ahead and use it to get as much health as we can. Because more health means more chances to actually make it through this. Um, don't see anything there. There is our boss room. Uh, these guys, I believe, yeah, they shoot like that. Uh, they're relatively new, which is interesting. Uh, I like that this game, I don't know if they're still doing any updates, but they were doing a decent number of updates for a while. Two batteries, that's good. More health. More health is good. Alright, so now that they are gone, we can focus on these guys. Get some more money. And spiders. Alright, so... Try to force them in the corner and... Oh no. That didn't work. Alright, there we go. He's dead. And he's dead. Alright, see what's in the shop. We have a bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And honestly, I'm going to save my money for the other battery. Uh, because more health. More health is awesome. So we have a pill. That is Walk Along Sunshine. Alright. So there is a black heart. Another black heart. And another black heart. And we'll get two more on the way back. And right there is our uh, item room. We get another key. Cool. So what do we have? Anything good? Leprosy. So, and a $3 bill. Cool. And a single, oh no, there's more than one. Uh, I should say a single worm, but nope. So our brimstone laser is going to change randomly. Uh, those stats are going to change on the side randomly. I think it might be every room they have a chance. So, peep. 
Peep is not that bad of a boss, all things considered. Nope, it's random. Uh, so... Looks like we had... Oh yeah, Leprosy gives us a shield of our own body, I think up to three. Um, and Magic 8 Ball. So shot speed up plus a tarot card, which is the Empress. Cool. Uh, anything else? No, not really. Alright, let's continue on. So this run is going pretty well. It's going pretty quick as well. Um, we're at eight minutes already. Uh, only, rather. Not already. Oh hey, we do get to keep our leprosy, but I believe if they get hit, they are destroyed. Um, Bob's bladder. Don't really care. We don't really have enough bombs to justify using that. Alright, cool. So, no reason to go into the cursed room right now. And there's another bomb. Alright, kill him. And I want to take care of this fly, just because it's probably going to hit me if I don't. And we have two hearts. Alright, doesn't matter to us. Uh, two hearts only affects red heart containers, so... Since we don't... Ooh, that is... Uh, that was a really good tier effect. And we have some money and another bomb. Cool, so we're finally getting some bombs. Uh, let's see what the shop has. And it's greed. And he's dead. So more money... And the magician. Um, we'll use that in a room. Magician. Like this one. So, we have the petrify effect. There is our boss. There is another heart for us. And the empress. So, we just need Ow. We just need to find. Uh, the, uh, we need to find the item room, and we're good to go. Wow, a lot of money. Next floor, we're going to use that money. I don't know why some of the tier effects are changing our, like, run speed and all that kind of stuff. I didn't think that there was too many of those that did that. Like, I can understand shot speed and that kind of stuff, but... Oh my gosh, shot speed. Uh, yeah, I'd like the shot speed to be better. Alright, so... Hopefully we can find our item room soon. Alright. So, the tier effects might not be the best thing to have grabbed, but oh well. Aha, uh -huh, it's fun. I like the randomness sometimes. Sometimes it's, it can really, really mess you up. But most time it's just fun. Um, yeah, so... Let's see what's in here, if it's worth it. Nope, not worth it. Not at all. Alright, one more room and we'll get another... Uh, thing. This guy should give us bombs or just blow up. One of the two. Um, and we should be able to kill this guy pretty easily. Cool. We get two more black hearts. Ah, the Satanic Bible is such a useful item for... Ooh, creepy bombs. Bob's Curse. We get a bunch of bombs for that. Um, so now we actually have bombs we can use to break any tinted rocks we come across if I notice them. Uh, no reason really to ex keep exploring. Uh, no secret room that way. Unfortunately, I was hoping for the secret room up by the uh, cursed room, but nope. Alright, so we have Gertie. And honestly, Gertie's pretty weak against Brimstone. Also against our uh, orbitals. If we can hit him with him. Alright, so we have Mom's Heals, and we can continue on. So, uh, this next floor we should get an Angel Room or a Devil Deal. Uh, Curse of Darkness, yeah. 
Look, let's blow that up. And what do we have? Explosive, Explosive diarrhea. diarrhea. Perfect. All right, we'll come down here. Nothing. Any tinted rocks? Um, uh, don't see any. Oh, there was a way out this way, wasn't there? Hard to see with all the stats. Uh, especially with the stats changing as much as they are. Oh, I hate those. All right, cool. So let's go this way, and he's on fire, and he's dead. We get a coin. Um, that hurt us for some reason, but we get a key, and let's just continue this way. All right. What hurt me? Oh, he's got a fly around him. That's nasty. Alright, so that's explosive diarrhea. We'll use that here. And we'll get nothing. Cool. So can I use this right here and maybe... Nope. Still get nothing. Alright, we have 36 coins. We're going to find our shop today. Or a donation machine. Uh, we'll come back to that. If we need to. Uh, unfortunately though, if... One donate... <laughs> Okay, so in this room, it randomly spawns three of the fatties. Um, that's their names, I believe. And I got three stone. There's no actual enemies in the room, so they all died. That's what just happened there. Uh, in case you blinked and missed that. So there is the boss. And... Cool, so we have the hermit. Let's go ahead and actually pop that. Ooh, the habit. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy a soul heart. And then I'm going to donate the rest of the money. That I can. So, uh, 600 might be something? Ah, store upgrade level 4. So, I don't think that will affect it until, like, later. By which I mean, like, uh, the next floor. Yeah, it doesn't affect this one, but uh, what that will do is it will give us more options with our items. Um, I believe it will give us six. And I want to say the max is seven items in the shop, but I could be wrong. But anyways, we donated all our money. Um, that was good. Just wanted to get rid of uh, all the coins and Godflesh. Shrink shot. Cool. So that will help sometimes, maybe. Cool. Let's just keep on going. Um, unfortunately, we have really, like, slow shot speed at times. That's going to be the only thing that hurts us, really. Alright, so we know where the boss is. We know where... Uh... We know where the boss is, we got the item. I think that's pretty much all we need, so let's just continue on down. Before we go over there though, I do want to stop in and try to put more money into a donation machine. Uh, and hope for the best. So uh, we will eventually need to fill this one up as well, but it's not as urgent. Um, the green machine is the more important one of the two, definitely. So let's kill War. So this should be a pretty easy fight, other than the fact that he's going to, uh, once he uh, gets off his horse, it's going to be fun. So let's just blow these up preemptively. And yeah, as long as he's slow. He's no longer slow. Uh, I was going to say, it's not going to be too big of a deal. Alright, this is going to be where it's fun. But we have the habit that will give us um, charges to our uh, to the Satanic Bible whenever we uh, get hit. So, is that the Holy Mantle? No, that's the Relic. That's the Soul Heart Generator. So, let's kill an Angel. 
I doubt that we're going to be able to get both keys, but you never know. We still have a few more floors. Ow. So, let's just shoot him a bunch with our brimstone. I don't, I don't even know if killing uh, Satan is feasible at this point. Let's take um, Blue Baby Soul. That'll give us a follower that kind of hangs around. Uh, the reason I want that instead of the rock is the rock's not really useful. Um, not going to be terribly useful um, all that much, really. So let's get something that is a little bit more. No idea. Pheromones. Range down. That's bad. Pheromones. I actually accidentally had two of those. Alright, so there's still a guy following me. Alright, let's get out of there. And what do we have over here? Uh, a bunch of these skulls, which we do have to destroy the skulls. But, not that big of a deal. Uh... So yeah, maybe the $3 bill wasn't the best for Azazel, but we're doing just fine, so can't complain. Got some more money and some more bombs. More bombs. And Curse of the Maze, great. Secret room? Secret room. Or not. Alright, so these guys are a little bit easier because Brimstone goes through them. Alright, um, let's see what's in here. A battery. And a guy with five cents, so, um, that is just a normal secret room. Wasn't a super secret room. Alright, so we definitely need higher shot speed for these guys. Cool. Let's go this way. Um, ugh. These guys... I don't know what they do. Ow, they run into me. And they make the area slippery. Uh, there is a lot of dank poop down here though, so we could have, like, really ruined their day. Well, that worked. Okay. So, there is our item room. Shrink that guy. And everything's good. Uh, tech point five, yes. A little bit more constant damage. Uh, is always good. And there we go. Cool. So what do we have in the shop? So yeah, there is the upgraded shop. Uh, unfortunately, there's not really anything I want in here. So let's just leave <laughs> and look for our boss. And cool. So yeah, uh, Tech Point 5 is by far one of the best items. Just because uh, it doesn't interfere with your... It does not interfere at all with your... Uh, whatever synergies you might have. Alright, these guys are terrible. Let's use that. And there we go. They're disabled. And let's uh, go kill Mom. So we're going to go up. I think is what I decided. Uh, just because, honestly, we have so many keys. And Mom's almost dead. Cool. There we go. So let's get the Polaroid. Nothing in terms of good, like, location. So we'll just continue up. Um, do we need to do anything else? We do need to kill Delirium, but that's about it. Um... All right, so we need to find. Uh, we need to find our boss. Ooh, this is worth it. Especially since the boss. Uh, the boss ones are not that bad, really. All right, so we could open some of these while we're kind of waiting and whatnot. And we get another soul heart. Cool. So 
Um, yeah, this is not too bad at all. Especially with Tech Point 5, it makes it a lot easier. And this one takes us... What is this item? Angelic Eclipse by the Moon? No idea. Alright, so let's kill the other angel and we can go take on Satan. Awesome. So that was uh, worthwhile, I think. I have no idea what this item does, because I think it's new. Um, we'll just kind of do whatever we can and hopefully uh, we'll get some good items once we get to uh, the chest and ooh, ooh. So whenever we shoot through the, the prism, it gives us a really cool effect. Awesome. Uh, I like that. Uh, it makes rainbow colored death. That is kind of awesome. Alright. Let's go this way. Oh no, holes that I can't fall down. <laughs> uh, I love being able to fly in this game. It makes so many of the obstacles just completely irrelevant. I uh, let's pop that. Plenty of black hearts. And yeah, unfortunately there's oh my god, that is just terrifying. Uh unfortunately with our tier effects, it's not gonna be super useful. Um uh, but it'll be useful enough, I think. I mean, I wasn't going to pass it up. It's Angel Room. Angel Rooms don't cost anything, so who really cares? Um, let's just kind of take care of these guys. And I like it when they become uh, the... Uh, the mushrooms rather than the skulls, the host hats. It's so much easier to deal with them. Uh, it's really hard to see. I'm not going to worry about tinted rocks. We don't need them, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, we'll continue grabbing coins just in case we get, like, uh, what's the, the item called? Uh, oh, what is the item called? Uh, the money one. Uh, money for power. So, if we get that, we we'll use it, but otherwise, let's just go kill the boss. And it's Loki. Oh my god, that was so powerful. That looks so cool, too. Um, unfortunately, our charge up is really bad now. But there's the wire coat hanger, that will help. Tears up. Ah, uh, and. Yeah. Don't see any tinted rocks in here, so let's just continue on. Hopefully we get something better than darkness this time. Hopefully no curse. Yay, no curse. Alright, so... We're just gonna... Um, kill these guys. Whatever way we can. Uh, the really nice thing about the prism is not so much the, like the split shot, but the range that it gives us. Um, it's much better range than than it usually is. So, do we have anything good in here? Ooh. Alright, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna use the fool. We're gonna open both of these. Grab all this stuff. And go bye-bye. Alright, so... We just need to find... There's a double locked room. I don't know if that's useful. Or not. But we'll get keys and money. Alright, so just continue this way. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Uh but yeah, like the the best part about this seems to be the the range that it does to the, the tier effect. So uh, rather than just a simple stream, it makes it, it multiplies your shots. Um and that that's really nice. That, does a lot for us. So 
All right, we have two hands. Any more hands? Nope. Okay. So we're gonna get more money, more keys, and we're gonna go up this way. Cool. So that worked. I do like blowing these up because, yeah, you get awesome things. That's not super useful to us, but I mean, it's still kind of awesome. And there we go. So it lives for now. Um, just kill these things. All right, let's uh, kind of range ourselves so that we can do that. Get a black heart. And luckily, uh, the heart tends to attack and kill everything. Um, about the only problem, though, that we're going to have is more of the... Uh, oh, there we go. Is more of the tears are just kind of annoying to dodge. Alright, so... There we go. And it's almost dead. There we go. Cool, so we have an angel room. We get our soul heart. What do we have? Holy mantle or... Yeah, I'm taking holy mantle. That is just way too good not to take. Um, so we are going up. We don't need to kill Hush. No reason to go do it, so we're not going to. Um, so we're going to go up. I grabbed the Polaroid, so we're good. Awesome. So we have both keys, so we're going to be able to uh, fight Satan uh, if we so want to. We just got hit, but no damage because awesome. And now that one's dead, this is going to be a lot easier. Yeah, killing one of them is much easier than killing both. Alright, so now we can see everything. And shrink things. Cool. So there is that. Hagalas, sure, why not? Doesn't really matter to me. We're gonna keep the Empress for as long as we can. Um, we'll get that. We'll get another black heart. We'll go this way. I like mapping. Makes my life a lot easier. I'm trying to find things. Uh, I can I can do these episodes a lot quicker if I can see where I'm going. Uh -huh. Like, I really enjoy Isaac, but gosh, some of these uh, some of these episodes get so long. Um, Alright, so we kill that guy, and there we go. Anything good? Money, bomb, and a key. Alright, so we just need to keep going this way. There is a super secret room. You know what? Let's go to it. Why not? Um, I just talked about how I like mapping because I can make things quicker, but uh, I'm also going to, you know prolong this episode just to go get some stuff that I probably don't need. Uh, so there we go. We get a soul heart that I don't want. And yeah, luckily the uh, the laser, the tech point five isn't nearly as affected by uh, our tier effects as our actual brimstone laser is. Ooh, that's a good item if you need bombs early on. Uh, at this point, it's not that good. So let's just continue on. And try to kill as many ghosts as we can, as quickly as we can. Alright, there's one out of six. Actually, we've gotten two. There's three, four, five. And there we go. Cool. So, I have this horseman. Pretty easy. Uh, especially because we can take one hit and not worry about it. Um, now, we do have base damage, by the way. Um, well, actually, no. We don't have base. We have a little bit better. Not much better, though. But yet, we're still doing really well. Uh, let's do this. Cool. That worked. And what do we have? Wow, a lot of things. And the one is invincible, I do believe, until we kill all the others. 
but that's not too bad. Um, so now we can kill this guy. Shrink him down. And just blow him up. Cool. So we have range down. Don't want that. Alright, time to defeat Isaac. And... This shouldn't be too bad. We got hit already. But we can get, you know, more power. Alright, so... Let's just stand next to him and... Kill him with the cube of meat. And once we get to this phase, it'll be a little bit easier. As long as he doesn't come after us, uh, we should be fine to do this part without taking any damage. Alright, cool. So he's almost dead. Um, and he's dead. Cool. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, let's, real quick, we can run back and get some soul hearts uh, that we've left behind. And just get our life up a little bit more. Uh, soul hearts down here. Cool. So that's, a, that's the nice thing about, uh, let's go into the sacrifice room, because there might be something in here. Uh, we can do this, 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 and this. Just to try to get something. We can get anything. Alright. Uh, that's fine. It's whatever. Cool. So let's go to the chest and finish this up. So... Um, our gold key will immediately unlock the uh, Curse of the Maze. That's annoying, but that's not bad. So, we can go fight Mega Satan. Uh, Isaac's Tears. Contact I will take. Um, yes, Mother. Now we have a knife. Up, down. Yuck. Um, is this something? Collective Tears. Alright, I don't really want that. So, um... All right, we'll go this way. Fine. Uh, so we have two dark horns and a little horn. Let's just annihilate the little horn if we can. And there we go. We get a black heart. All right, so little horn should be easy enough, but we're not really nobody's coming near us, which is kind of the problem. All right, so uh, but luckily we we have mom's contact, which is a nice consistent freeze effect, and. There we go. And we get some bombs. That's a bummer. So these guys are going to be easy as long as we don't get hit by them. Because their creep doesn't do anything to us. And we get some soul hearts. Awesome. So no luck with the... Ooh, brownie. And oh my god, so many... So many things. Um... I forgot we have, uh, Holy Mantle. So this is gonna make things a little bit easier. Alright, there we go. And we just need to kill him. Alright, so that's pretty much it. So let's go this way. We got him right when he summoned. In, uh, and yeah, we need power up items. Um, so, game, can you give me some power up items? That'd be awesome. Alright, luckily, these guys are really weak to brimstone because uh, you just kind of eat through them, which is disgusting. Apologies for saying that. Wow, that is a bad thought. Um, don't eat through poop. 
Guillotine! I don't really like that item. Alright. So super softs are easy enough. And I'll just finish them off. And we get justice. So random set of items. We'll do that. Let's go back and get the batter. Oh, great. I accidentally took it. Uh, I just don't like it because it's an orbital style head. Uh, which really messes with you. But, there we go. We'll try our best. Uh, let's... My goal is to find and kill, uh, Blue Baby before we consider, uh, Mega Satan. But, this should be pretty easy. Alright, there's one, and... There's the other. Cool. So, nothing in there, but we have Ragmans in here, because Curse of the Maze. Curse of the Maze is annoying sometimes. Alright, I have to check. Anything here? Nope. Alright, Super Lust. Uh, nothing too difficult from these guys. Although we did get hit, but range down, that's Book of Secrets. Um, alright, so, oops. I didn't mean to pick that back up. Uh, lard. That's a health up, but it's not one I want because it's gonna slow us down. And honestly, we're not going that fast, so I'm not too concerned about it. Let's just kill this guy. And we can come over here and kill this guy. Alright, so... We got a battery. Let's go clear out one more room. See if there's anything here. Nope. How about here? Nope. Alright. It's really hard to tell where you're going with this many followers and your head not being where your body is. Alright, so... Alright, so... We've cleared out most of this area. Just need to go this way. We'll grab that battery and... Um, keep it for now. Alright, let's kill Blue Baby. So this shouldn't be too bad to do. Uh, I accidentally froze one of his... Uh, one of his flies. Uh, I didn't even know you could do that. Oh no. There we go. He's dead. And cool. So that is a completion mark. Let's go kill Mega Satan or try. Let's let's finish up this this floor. If we can never get out of here. And then we'll try to uh, we'll try to uh, kill Mega Satan. Uh, and then go from there. He might. I believe he has a potential to drop uh, the portal for Delirium. Uh, if he does, that's awesome. If he doesn't, whatever. Uh, we'll get Delirium at some other point. Um, usually Delirium, I believe, has like a 50% chance to spawn with... Uh, oh, the Dark Room. So it's just a matter of whether you get lucky or not. Uh, honestly, Delirium is not a hard level. It's just a long level. Um, definitely easier than Hush. But honestly, a lot cooler. Uh, I like Delirium. He's probably the best part of the new DLC. Um, although there is a lot of fun items that were added. Uh, so let's kill Loki. And get nothing. Alright. So there's only a few more rooms. Uh, I'm not going to try to find the uh, the secret rooms. It's just not worth it, uh, to be perfectly honest. Just because uh, there's too many possibilities. 
Alright, let's come down here, and we have... Gerties. Cool, so... Took some damage, but we have a Soul Heart. Let's kill Ragman, because he's a little bit more dangerous. A little bit more life as well, so... That was easy enough. Let's go this way. Uh, unfortunately, we never got an item like Guffy's uh, Tail, which would have really made it uh, desirable for this uh, to get a lot of chests. Whoa, there's a lot of things in here. And they're all dead. Cool. So let's go kill Satan. Um, hopefully we can. Hopefully we don't die. But at the very least, we beat uh, Blue Baby. So Mega Satan. What can we do? Uh, let's just try our best to do as much damage as we can to him. Ow. Keep our health up. That's probably the most important thing. Oh, hey. And the sins are already spawned. And we froze him. Cool. So these are sins that I believe he just randomly spawns if you're not doing enough damage to him. Uh, typically you don't see them. Because the first thing is the four horsemen. And honestly the four horsemen are pretty easy. Uh, the hardest one is death and honestly he's not that bad. If you just take him out immediately. Like I'm going to. Um... And then more is also not that bad. Alright, so he's almost dead. Uh, war anyways. And we just kinda... Oh, great. And now we have the Sins. Oh god. And these guys are not bad at all. Uh, take care of Lust, because he's a little bit more tricky than uh, Wrath, but... Honestly, of all these, Gluttony and... Uh, uh, Pride are the hardest. We've taken a lot of damage, though, so that's something to keep in mind. And let's just try our best to, to kill him as quickly as we can. Uh, if we can't attack him, we need to attack his hands. And here comes the angels. Fallen angels. I think we've got this, honestly. Uh, we get hurt, but we have another charge. And... Um, it's really hard. Unfortunately, we did pick up Guillotine. Uh, that is probably the worst item. In my opinion, uh, that is the, like, free flight. Alright, let's destroy his other hand. And, honestly, he should be... Ow. Close to dying. There we go. There's the first phase. Now we just have to kill the second phase. We have four hits, I believe. Because um, we actually do have an extra one with... Uh, we have an extra one with... Uh, the book of... The Satanic Bible. So we just kind of... Worry about dodging more than anything. And I've got to remember, don't look at the head, it's the body that matters. Um, so... Ow. He should be close to dying. Yeah, he's almost there. Fast flames... 
And there we go. Cool. So we defeated Mega Satan. Awesome. So there's another completion mark. And there is Delirium. So let's go. <laughs> we don't have much health, but we have Abaddon, which is an amazing item, and Black Baby, uh, which is a multiplayer thing. But we'll just destroy this guy. Hope for something good. That's whatever. Uh, and we just need to kind of clear out whatever we can. We have a Tinted Rock there. We should be able to get plenty of health back before we fight uh, Delirium. I'm not too worried about that. Um, oh, there he is. A Golden Key is always nice in case we find anything cool. And... Awesome. So, let's go down this way. That worked. There's another key, doesn't really matter, but we do have another Tinted Rock, more Soul Hearts. Awesome. We're gonna be fine. Uh, we should be able to do this. I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. Um, other than the fact that Delirium likes to teleport around, and we don't have range. Um, range is by far the worst thing for Azazel. Um, so, that's gonna be fun. And... That's not freaky. Uh, so we'll just kinda kill this stuff. Yeah, that actually startled me a little bit. Uh, not gonna lie. Cool, that was easy enough. And we can go ahead and get another black heart. Anything here? There certainly is. We have pheromones. Alright, we'll use that. And another soul heart. Cool. So we're back to full health. Um, let's just kill these guys. Troll bomb. Doesn't really do anything. And there we go. Cool. So, I've yet to find any of the... There we go. There's the boss room. Uh, I almost hope it's not Delirium. It's Loki. Uh, just because we can get some more items. Like, whatever this is. Trisagonite? What? I don't even know what this is. Like, lore-wise. I've never heard of these words. Alright. Cool. Let's get out of here. Um, we'll just kill these guys as quickly as possible. Perfect. That's so weird. So trippy, too. But here is another boss room. Uh, I think they've increased how often that happens, though. Because I don't remember seeing that all that often. Um, the last few times that we've gone through this, and it's Delirium! Alright, so... We need to just do as much damage as we can. Uh, freezing him is gonna be great because... Well, freezing him. Uh, it'll make my life a lot easier. Alright, I wish he wouldn't teleport so much, but he will. Just something you have to deal with. Um, so... Where is he? Alright, a little bit of trippiness. He's right in front of us. Cool. So, um, this really isn't a bad fight. Um, it just takes a while. Depending on how powerful you are. And we're not, like, that powerful. But our tier effects are super useful. Alright, so... Let's just... Attack him as much... As much as we can. Um... 
Yeah, him summoning item, uh, creatures is not good. But also kind of whatever. Um, so, looks like he's multiple things by now. Um, this fight does get more intense as you go on. Um, and we are honestly probably going to die. Um, he's about halfway dead, and so are we. Um, let's just kind of do our best. Um, if we can, the more we can freeze him, the better off we'll be. But unfortunately, teleporting Bolt Hell is not the best of uh, things to fight against. Um, was that a goat head? I do believe it was. It looked like it. So yeah, now he's summoning things. Um, I wonder if they changed this fight at all. Because, like I said, there's there's been updates. There's almost constant updates. Um, okay, maybe not constant, but they're pretty frequent updates. Um, and I, I don't know what all has been updated because, to be perfectly honest, I haven't really been paying attention. And I don't play this game that much outside of recording it. Oh, uh, great. We are going to die. Yep, there we go. Cool. So, scissors appeared in the basement. Um, but that was a decent run nonetheless. Um, we have most of the completion marks for Azazel now. Uh, we just need to go down and defeat Delirium. So next time we're going to do another green mode because we are really close to getting that symbol with the, the, the Holy Mantle for the Lost. And that is going to make my life a lot easier later on. So that's what we'll do next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Despite dying to Delirium, we did get a lot done. So that's all that matters. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!